Welcome to our Scorecards video tutorial. The Scorecards tool, the Prognos platform, is designed to generate strategic maps of target indicators. The Scorecards provide a user-friendly and tunable environment to track achievement goals and relevant key indicators. What does a scorecard look like? The schema shows the relations between objectives and indicators in different perspectives, as well as the degree of their achievement for the selected reporting period. To see its structure clearly, let's look at the example of a scorecard containing few objectives. A strategic scorecard contains the following items. Perspectives represent components of the strategy specified for their evaluation and implementation. Objectives define the direction of the strategy implementation, and factors are used to evaluate the degree of the objective's achievement, which depends on indicator values and is calculated by the formulas specified by the user. Upon changing the report period, indicator values are updated in the scorecard and a new value for the degree of objective achievement is calculated. The scorecard data can also be displayed as a table of objectives and factors. The objectives table shows the degree of objective achievement for the selected period. The factors table contains the planned and actual value of each factor, as well as the degree of plan implementation. The table representation allows users to enter the planned and actual values of indicators. Let's create a new scorecard to evaluate a company's performance. In order to create a new scorecard, you need to master data repository to provide a database for storing the objectives and factors dictionaries. You can employ the already existing dictionaries or create new ones. In our example, we use the pre-existing objectives and factors dictionaries. A special time series database is automatically created to store indicator values. You can set the list of attributes to be generated in its structure. In order to be able to display the indicator's measurement units, let us make the relevant attribute visible. Open the scorecard. Hide the sidebar to extend the workspace. Let us add a header to the scorecard. By default, the scorecard's name corresponds to its name in the repository. Let us format the scorecard's header. Right now, it displays the default header name. Let's set up the header the way we want it. Now let us define the perspectives from which to view company performance. For example, we can view the company performance from the perspective of the company's competitiveness. Customize the perspective design in the scorecard schema. Add two more perspectives similarly, company staff and company image. Let us define the objectives to be displayed in the scorecard. Press the objective button in order to create new objectives. For example, let us use such objectives as company competitiveness growth, employee retention, personnel development, and positive company image. Newly added objectives are located within the selected perspective in the scorecard schema. Move the objectives into the appropriate perspectives. Now let us set up the factors defining the objective's achievement degree. Press the Factor button and create the factors the same way as you create objectives. Denote the relevant unit for each of the factors. The factors can be allocation of funds to advertising and PR, allocation of funds to personnel training, company personnel training, and so on. Open the table representation to enter the planned and actual values of the created indicators. Switch on the edit mode and enter the planned values of the factors for all the quarters of 2012. Enter the actual values data for the first three quarters of 2012. The degree of plan implementation is automatically calculated upon pressing the Calculate button. Save the changes when you are done putting in the values. A chart displayed at the lower part of the window represents the achievement of objectives and factors in a more visual way. Let us set up the parameters for the calculation and visual representation of the objective's achievement. Begin with the Positive Company Image objective. This objective depends on such factors as allocation of funds to advertising, NPR, and promotional events. Set up the relative weights of the factors depending on their importance. In the scorecard, the design parameters can be set for visualizing the degree of objective achievement. Let's set up the design parameters the way we want. Set up the design of the objectives similarly. Let's run the calculation. All the connections between objectives and factors, as well as the calculated values of objectives and factors, appear in the schema upon completing the calculation. Set the parameters of company competitiveness growth. It depends on personnel development and positive company image, that is, on the achievement of the other objectives. Do note that company competitiveness growth is more influenced by the increases in the number of qualified employees and less by the positive company image. Run the calculation. Design parameters can also be set for each indicator in the same way as for the objectives. Set up the color indicators and press the Calculate button in order to display them in the scorecard. At the lower part of the window, you can see the chart. It contains high-low lines to evaluate the degree of objective achievement and a curve to analyze it in dynamics. 
the list of factors involved in the objective calculation formula is displayed to the left of the chart. The strategic scorecards data can be viewed for all of those periods where planned and actual values of factors have been entered. The created scorecard can be viewed in both the Windows application and in the web application. The web application's view mode also allows us to evaluate the objective achievement in different periods. Our scorecard shows that in the third quarter of the year, the positive company image objective was achieved, while the other objectives were either partially achieved or not achieved at all. The progress platform scorecards can be printed, published online, or exported to a graphics file, which can be opened and viewed. Our scorecards video tutorial is over. Thank you for your attention.